What's up YouTube? Um, so I'm getting a lot of questions about my trailer build. And I'm gonna go over some of the welding, some of the steel I used, and explain some of the stuff I did. The trailer started out overall as a boat trailer. Still got the original rollers for whatever John boat or small boat was on it. And you can see the original C frame channel all the way around and what I did is put an inch and a half by inch and a half 11 gauge steel and made a box right on top of it. And then I wanted to extend it, so I added the box further, which meant I had to cut off the original coupler. And because the trailer is now lifted a lot higher with the spindle axles and the Jeep tires and whatever, I dropped my new hitch or tongue to the bottom and welded it. It's two by two. Connected it there. Um, I plan on putting some more plates there and then adding some angled braces to help stabilize it. For the actual hitch, I'm not sure if I'm gonna weld this in place or keep it as it is. I kind of like the idea of being able to take the hitch out and then no one's able to steal it. I don't have to get a fancy lock or anything. I can just remove it if I leave it outside or somewhere. Um, and then I widened the overall trailer. So the original trailer stopped at the very edge. And I widened it about a foot to make these cool wheel wells. I started to grind down my some of my welds. I didn't care if they're grinded down perfectly because they're just gonna be covered in plywood. I just wanted them down enough so that the plywood wasn't protruding or jagged or lifted in some spot. Um, and then I ran two by, or inch and a half by inch and a half cross members, the same ones. Those are the black ones there. They just had a coat of paint since it was outside. Um, and I wanted to make sure, it, I was getting a little carried away with all the square tubing. So for the intermit, intermittent portions, I just used some angle, inch and a half by inch and a half, 11 gauge. And they're plenty strong enough to just help hold up the plywood and they'll help decrease the span that the plywood has to absorb. So there we have it. Uh, overall dimensions, trailer is from edge to edge is just over seven feet. Um, from front from front to the very back is 12 feet. So that'll be three sheets of plywood for the bottom. It'll work out just perfectly. Trying to think of anything else that if people have asked me. Um, if I could do it all over again, I would have just bought all the steel and made the trailer myself in the first place. The most pain in the ass part was trying to conform to the boat trailer. The, the plus side of doing it with the boat trailer, one, it was really cheap, and two, I knew I was getting a factory made um, perfectly square trailer. Which, which was helpful. I didn't have to, it did save a lot of time, but I kind of sold myself short. I should have just bought the steel. I'm plenty confident because this was much more complex to do welding different, you know, specialty pieces. And it would have been easier to just do it myself from the get go with all new steel rather than work with what was there. But it was in good shape. Um, this piece right here I added, because all the tongue weight, now that the trailer is going to be a lot, a lot heavier, um, this, this cross beam, this boat beam was bending a lot, not bending a lot, but it was, it was deflecting more than, uh, it wasn't putting a lot of the weight into the trailer. So I just connected it to the mid beam to help it stabilize it. I'll probably add another one on the other side. I think that about covers it. The previous video I talked about this axle, it's a timber and axle, it's an axleless suspension with a four inch drop spindle and then a two inch spacer to clear these Jeep wheels. Um, I got the Jeep wheels on Facebook Marketplace, so super cheap, great tread, will work just fine for this. 
and I should be adding some plywood to it this week, so you'll see that video coming up shortly. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you would do differently. I'm always curious to hear other people's ideas, thoughts.